Once upon a SpongeBob. Chapter 2 SpongeBob and the Kelp Stock. The next morning, SpongeBob awoke to the sound of Mrs. Puff calling him. SpongeBob! she shouted. Come here this instant! SpongeBob stumbled into the kitchen. Mrs. Puff! he cried. What are you doing here? You mean you don't recognize your own mother? Mrs. Puff said in surprise. Poor boy, I guess not eating for two days has affected your memory. SpongeBob, I want you to trade Gary for some food for us, Mrs. Puff continued. Trade Gary? SpongeBob exclaimed. Never! I, would, I wouldn't trade Gary for all the magic kelp in the sea! SpongeBob ran out of the house carrying Gary under his arm. Psst! Over here! whispered a familiar voice. SpongeBob stared as Squidward tentacles held out a mysterious glowing bag. What's that? asked SpongeBob entra entranced. All the magic kelp in the sea, Squidward answered. How about a trade for that snail of yours? I'll even throw in the special bag. Sold! SpongeBob said. Mrs. Puff was furious when SpongeBob told her what had happened. She tossed the bag out of the window. As soon as the bag hit the, the ground, a giant kelp stalk sprouted and grew higher than SpongeBob could see. What could be up there? SpongeBob wondered. SpongeBob climbed the kelp stalk to the very top. He saw a huge castle in the distance. I can't wait to see what's inside, SpongeBob shouted as he ran toward the castle. Stay tuned for chapter three coming up soon.